It's the latest fad in weight loss, but is it safe? Tonight we get to the bottom of the juicing controversy. Welcome to this 12 on your side alert special. I'm Diane Walker. Celebrities have done it. So have hundreds of Richmonders. You drink all your fruits and vegetables for days, sometimes weeks at a time, but no solid foods are allowed. But is juicing nutritious or even safe? Our investigative reporter Rachel DePompa weighs the pros and cons. Work it out, work it out, work it out. You're halfway there. In the Battle of the Bulge, blenders are now in the mix. I never expected to change my diet and feel younger. This grandmother is jumping for joy. I was stuck there as a chunky lady, and I didn't like being that. It really has changed her. It has changed the way she eats the way she feels, a bunch of things. Teresa Legrand's grandkids were the ones to suggest the idea. It wasn't anything special. I didn't have to have any surgery. I didn't go on any medications to do it. I just got healthy with what I was eating. Legrand started juicing, making juice drinks of organic fruits and vegetables. She went 50 days with just drinking the juice. Going off food isn't easy. You know, we're all used to chewing. But has now integrated solid food back into her diet. She's gone from a size 14 to a 4. For the first time in my entire life, my doctor said, you don't need to lose any more weight. So I lost 23 pounds. I had just unbelievable energy. Peter Glickman recently wrote about what he calls the master cleanse. He says it was developed in the 1950s, but that the liquid diet is back and the way to go. The purpose of detoxification is to get out the toxins and other substances that make people tired, old, irritable, unhappy, and not function well, and sap their energy. To do this diet, you turn celery, carrots, anything really, into liquid. And this is all you drink for days at a time. Is the liquid diet just a quick fix? Is it even healthy? Virginia's Board of Medicine recently reprimanded a Colonial Heights chiropractor for going beyond his duties. He put a patient on a weight loss diet program that included a five-day liquids-only detoxification. The patient had an irregular heartbeat. The diet caused heart palpitations. If you're a young, healthy person, you're probably going to be okay. Probably. But you're starting to roll, you know, you're starting to roll the dice a little bit. Madge Zacharias is a co-founder of the Zacharias Ganey Health Institute in Richmond. She's been looking into the juice diet craze and believes people are just assuming it's healthy because it involves fruits and veggies. Understand, we're juicing this. We're taking out the pulp. We're taking out the fiber. We're being left with basically sugar and, yes, some vitamins and antioxidants, but... It's not a way to live. She believes juicing may not necessarily hurt a healthy person, but it's not really helping them either. It keeps coming down to the fact it's a diet. We got to do this for life, and nobody's going to drink juice for life. Even if you can make the perfect juice, make it healthy, it's not a lifestyle. Rachel DePompa, NBC 12 News. Rachel also tells us some are staunch believers in the diet. Others say there needs to be more research on how it affects the body. Either way, most experts we found say you should check with your doctor before even trying it.